Okay, I think we have talked enough about the PWM charge controller. Now let's look at the more advanced type of solar charge controller, which is the MPBT, the Maximum Power Point Tracking Solar Charge Controller. Now these type of charge controllers are quite advanced, they're quite intelligent, but it's actually not that difficult to explain how they work. So the key feature of MPPT charge controllers is that they have two different kind of circuits inside of the charge controller. One on the side of the source, one on the side of your solar panel, and the other one on the side of your load, on the side of your battery. You could therefore describe this kind of solar charge controller as a DC to DC converter. It takes a DC power from the solar panel and converts it into a different kind of DC power that it sends towards your load, towards your battery. So let me try to explain this a bit better with a simple drawing. So we start with a solar panel that you connect to your MPPT solar charge controller. And on this side of the circuit, you most of the times have a high voltage, a relatively low amperage, but you're right at the right spot on the solar panel. So you're right on the maximum power point of the solar panel and the solar panel is producing as much power as it possibly could under the given conditions. And now you're connecting the MPPT charge controller to your load, to your battery. And on this side of the circuit, often you have a much lower voltage, therefore a higher amperage. And most of the MPPT solar charge controllers have a relatively high efficiency. So up to 100, well, up to 99 point something percent of the energy that you have, that you took from the solar panel, you're actually sending that towards your load, towards your battery. So just remember that MPPT charge controllers have two different circuits, one on the side of the solar panel, which most of the times works at a relatively high voltage, and a secondary circuit, which works on the side of your load, on the side of your battery, which works on a much lower voltage. So let's also look at the IV curve and let's see what happens to the voltage and the amperage if you connect a solar panel to an MPPT charge controller. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So a first look at the situation where the sun is high at the sky, and we've got a nice IV curve with a high amperage and voltage. So if you connect this solar panel then to the MPPT charge controller, the MPPT charge controller will actually adjust the voltage and will walk along this line until it has found a point whereby the voltage times the amperage results in the highest power output. And once it's found that sweet spot, it will stay right there and you get your maximum power output from your panel. And then if the conditions would change, so for example, the sun would start to go down or you would start to get some, some clouds, some overcast, then the curve would change, but the MPPG charge controller would do the same again. It would, would adjust the voltage and would walk along this IV curve until it has found a point on the curve whereby the result of voltage times amperage is a maximum. And again, under those conditions, the MPPT charge controller has found the maximum power point on the IV curve. So you're getting the maximum power out of your solar panel for the given conditions. All right, so we're almost done because by now you understand what an IV curve is. You understand the basic functioning and the possibilities with a PWM charge controller. And you understand what an MPPT charge controller does and what the advantages are.